Hey guys, Timster here, and today I'm going to be showing you a clutch replay in the T29. So, I've entered a tier 8 battle, not the thing you want to see when you click the battle button. But, um, I'm, this T29 can definitely take it. It has more than enough firepower and armor to take a tier 8 tank head on. My team is going to be headed uh, towards the cave. That's where most battles take place. If he case thinking about it, but uh, no, we're we're going to the cave. Come on, <laughs> they're they're all getting started now. Okay, so I I do have a 105 millimeter gun, the TSE1, and that's gonna really permit me to just completely take out um, those other tier eights, especially since they have a tank destroyer and some mediums, and I'm not gonna be facing too much um, heavies in this match, so it's gonna be fine. But I do have a 279 millimeter uh, thick turret, the T136, which is just boss. Like, the only way to actually hurt this thing is to shoot the command hatch. I've spotted my first target, a comet, which is not using its uh, engine at all. It's decided that the um, that it's not going to take any of our shit, and it's just gonna stay there, even though it's the fastest tank in the game. <laughs> it's it's just gonna you know look at us for a while and try to shoot at my 279 millimeter thick turret, and there goes that comet. <laughs> so. That's one down. Actually, we've also lost a tank. The Pershing has just recently fallen to the ISU-152, my absolute rival at this point. And now me and this T-44 are going to start duking it out because, well, why not? It's a heavy versus a medium. That T-44 is doing the smart thing, right? <laughs> Not a good idea to take on a T29 while its armor is angled. Even though I only have 76 millimeters of side armor, at that angle, there's just no way that T44 is going to penetrate it. And since I have a 279 millimeter thick turret, there's no way it's going to penetrate my turret. The only place it can potentially hit me is my command hatch. And yep, there it goes just hit my command hatch which is really hard to hit at that distance so he did have some luck in that shot it's it, that was hitting a command hatch is mostly just luck and at this point he's done he's only gotten one shot on me but this whole time I have just been hammering this guy with my 105 millimeter gun and before he knows it I'm gonna try and back up before he realizes he's backing up he's realized yep you're dead <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> so this is where shit goes down. I'm popping out and boom, ISU-152 gives me an early Christmas present and I take 500 hit points of damage and this T-150 is still shooting at me. So I'm backing the hell out of there. Do not like that mess. I'm like, shit, I'm going to stay in my little cave. However, this KV-1S has decided otherwise. He's going on a field trip, literally. Um, field trip to hell, because he's literally just committed suicide. And that allows me to get a free kill on that T-150. Kind of a snag, but I don't care. <laughs> Not at this point. It's me and this T-32, and we're both on less than 400 health. Versus a team of three who have considerably higher health than us. This IS-6 is like, watch him come out, he's just like, oh, free kills, let's go. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, I don't think so, IS-6. <laughs> I don't know what you're thinking, but um, nah, I'm not going to give you any free kills today. So it's just rolling like swag and um, goodbye, swag. <laughs> yeah, there it goes. Uh, probably one of the stupidest ways to die. but. He's done, so now it's a, it's a 2v2, a little more fair. We're a little less fucked than we were before, to be fair. But the reason we're still kind of in deep shit is because of that ISU-152, which is, well, still at full health. <laughs> well, not for long, at least. Um, it, it's taking shots, but we're just 
poking out, boom, it's on half health. <laughs> Went from full to half in less than five seconds. That's fine with us though. So I'm gonna take one last shot at this ISU. In the meantime, this ISU is continuously firing at my buddy over there, the T32, which I'm just gonna give a shout out to because look at that position, let's just pause it. It's behind a rock, so its hull is down. The turret is the only thing sticking out. This is what makes this tank so good. There's no way of that T29 ISU are going to get any shots because that turret is just impenetrable. So shout out to him for just staying alive with me. So at this point I'm thinking, you know what, that T32 is going to be there for a while. He's in a good position. So I'm backing up here and I'm going to try and get a flanking shot at this ISU. I make a huge mistake though, like, <laughs> this is where you see my inexperience come into play. <laughs> I'm waiting for this ISU to turn around to face that T32, which it's not really facing at all. I'm coming out, and we're both aiming at each other. We're both going to fire. I fire, the shot goes nowhere near, and now he fires. This is where shit goes down. <laughs> and, oh, he misses. <laughs> yep, we both missed our shots. I don't know how. I do not understand how both of those missed. Um, he didn't have the time to aim, neither did I, but I hit a rock wall, which I was obviously not aiming at. Um, second time around though, I'm going to be smart about this, I'm going to angle my armor like I should have done, um, not be a complete retard, and I'm backing up at this time, and just watch the ISU. The, the ISU is like, oh shit, and <laughs> before you know it, it is dead. <laughs> And all that's left is this T29. At this point, it's kind of clear we've won. The T29 just took a shot at me, missed. I'm going to go for a lucky shot, and this is where you need luck, and this is where I don't have it. <laughs> so, totally miss. Me and this T32 have been really good teammates at this point. He knows that it's his turn to go get the kill while, while the T29 is distracted by me. And that's the game <laughs> we came back from a 2v3 <laughs> great game <laughs> um, and let's take a look at the results so I came into the 95th percentile as you can see by the one um, and holy shit uh, 3519 damage three tanks destroyed and 1190 XP by far one of my best games in the T29 and if we look at my hits I received nine only took five penetrations great game in the t29 and i hope you guys enjoyed peace